It's Fun Thursday, April 23rd, and this is your math lesson. It's another experience with creating a bar graph in this area using the data from the table with the tally marks. So right here we have, we see we have football, we have hockey, we have basketball and soccer. So you'll label each row football hockey, basketball, and then you'll write soccer right here. Looking at football, how many, oh, and then look down here. This is one, zero, this is zero people like that. This is one, pe one person, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Because we're working with numbers of 10 or less, each box can represent just one. However, if we were working with numbers greater than 10, we would need to have each box represent two. You'll do that in the future. All right, so now, how many people like football? It's a bar graph and so we can color in each part to create our solid bar. There were 10 people that liked football. Hockey, there were four. One, two, three, four. Basketball, there were seven. So you would color all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And soccer, there were nine. So you would color all the way up to the number nine. Then you're going to answer these questions. How many fewer people chose hockey as their favorite sport then chose basketball. So if basketball had nine, or no, seven, sorry, that goes up to seven. Seven people chose basketball, and one, two, three, four people chose hockey. So seven minus four equals three. You've known that since first grade. All right, so you're going to solve each, um, answer each question by creating a little math problem and at the bottom, you get to write your own question. You can write something like, um, how many people liked soccer or hockey the most? And then you would create the math problem that goes with that and solve that. The next page is similar. You're going to be doing the same thing, except you're not using tally marks this time. You're using actual, using actual numbers. So you'll write reading, math, science, and writing, and then fill in the boxes for your bar and um, then answer the questions at the bottom. Okay, see you later.